If you're looking for an easy vegetarian meal, these vegetable cutlets are the ones for you. Hi, and you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, then go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. For this recipe, we're gonna go in with five potatoes, which I've already boiled with a little bit of salt. And now we're gonna mash it up with a potato masher, or you could even grate it if you wanted. If you have a little bit of chunks in the potato, that's absolutely fine, because it's a vegetable cutlet after all. That's looking just perfect right now. We're gonna start adding in our veggies. So we're gonna go in with quarter cup of frozen green peas, which is about 30 grams, and quarter cup of frozen French beans, which is about 25 grams, and half a cup of corn niblets, which is about 70 grams. And for a puff of color and flavor, we're gonna go in with half a cup of very finely diced carrot, which is about 60 grams, and half a cup of finely diced red bell peppers, which is about 60 grams. And now to that, we're gonna add half a cup of finely diced red onion, which is also about 60 grams. And for a kick of spice, we're gonna go in with one green chili, which is about 12 grams. And I finely diced that too. And for some earthy flavors, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of ginger, which I finely diced, and that's about three grams. And one tablespoon of finely minced garlic, which is about nine grams, and I minced three garlic cloves for that. And for a fresh flavor to the cutlets, we're gonna add quarter cup of finely chopped cilantro, which is about 10 grams. And to season the cutlets, we're gonna go in with half a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder. We're gonna add about quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. And we're gonna bring it all together with salt to taste. And I've already added salt when boiling the potatoes. So I'm gonna go light on the salt now. Okay, now it's time to go in and bring this all together. I'm sure you can already tell how appetizing and tasty these cutlets are going to be. Okay, now that it's all mixed and well combined, we're gonna cover it up and leave it aside for about half an hour so that all the flavors get a chance to blend together. Our vegetable mix is all ready to go and we have our workstation all laid out. In one bowl, we have one and a half cup of breadcrumbs. In another bowl, we have half a cup of all-purpose flour. And in the third bowl, we have another quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Now to the bowl that has a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, we're gonna add about three fourth cup of water, or you could add more if you need to. And we're gonna mix it so that we get a smooth paste. We're gonna use this to coat the cutlets so that the breadcrumbs stick to them. and this is the consistency that you're looking for. And what I have in a little bowl is about two tablespoons of oil, and this I'm gonna to use to apply on my hands so that the vegetable mix does not stick. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of the vegetable oil on my hands. And I'm using a medium-sized trigger release ice cream scoop so that we get the even size of the cutlets. And I'm just gonna roll it and then pat it down just a little bit. Now so that we get a dry surface, we're gonna put it into the all-purpose flour and just roll it around on the sides too. I'm gonna to take off any of the excess that's loose on the top. And I'm gonna slip it into the coating and flip it on both sides so that it gets coated all around. And now we're gonna lift it up and put it into the breadcrumbs. I'm just gonna go in with a knife and flatten it out on the top and just turn it around till we get a well-formed vegetable cutlet. And there you have it. Our first vegetable cutlet is all formed and now ready to be fried. Now let's leave it aside while we go ahead and form the rest. Our vegetable cutlets are all ready. And this is the point where you can freeze them and fry them just when you want to enjoy them. Now let's go over to the stove and fry them. In a deep skillet, I've added vegetable oil, 
about an inch high. Once the oil is heated on a medium high heat, we're going to fry the cutlets. And I'm just going to go with four at a time because I don't want the temperature of the oil to drop. You're going to allow them to fry for about three minutes on one side till it turns golden brown. And now we're going to flip them over and allow them to fry for another three minutes. And now we're going to flip them a couple more times till they're completely cooked. Okay, now our cutlets are looking crispy and well fried. So it's time to lift them up, drain off the excess oil, and then place them on a plate. Now we're going to continue frying the cutlets in batches. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And now it's time to give our vegetable cutlets a taste. Squeeze on a little lemon on it. Wow, so crispy on the outside. Little bit of ketchup. Mmm! Wow, these are so delicious. You definitely heard the crispiness of the outside. And the inside is so soft and nice. And the flavor of all those different veggies that we put in was absolutely amazing. Now if you want to enjoy these cutlets as much as I do, hop onto my website platingitwithwendy.com where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.